Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EG and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be continuing our discussion about the measures of position and this time we will be focusing on discussing the percentiles for the group data. These are the steps that we need to consider to calculate the percentile for the group data. The first step is we need to construct the cumulative frequency distribution table. After that, we need to decide the class that contains the percentile class. To do that, percentile class is the class with the value of cumulative frequency which is equal or greater than k times n divided by 100. After we have identified the percentile class, we will be using the formula for the percentile of the group data in which pk is equal to lb plus the quantity k times n divided by 100 minus less than cf sub b all over f times the interval wherein n is equal to the total frequency less than cf sub b is equal to the cumulative frequency before the percentile class, fpk is equal to the frequency of the percentile class, lb is equal to the lower class boundary of the percentile class, and i is equal to the class width or the interval. Let's complete the missing parts of the cumulative frequency distribution table. Let's find the value of the class width or the interval. We can find this by counting starting from the lower limit up to the higher limit. So we will start with 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the class width or the interval is equal to 10. After that, Let's get the value of n or the total frequency by getting the summation of all the numbers in the column of frequency. So we will be adding these numbers. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. 11 plus 7 is equal to 18. 18 plus 10 is equal to 28. And then 28 plus 2 is equal to 30. So the class width is equal to 30. Next one is the lower boundary. We can get the lower boundary by subtracting the lower limit by 0 0.5. So 51 minus 0 0.5 will be equal to 50.5. 41 minus 0 0.5 will be equal to 40.5. 31 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 30.5. 21 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 20.5. And then 11 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 10.5. The next one is the less than cumulative frequency. To get the less than cumulative frequency, we will look at our first class. Our first class is the one with the lowest class interval or with the lowest lower limit and the lowest higher limit. So this row is our first class. So we will look at the frequency of the first class, which is equal to 2, and we will copy it here in the column of the less than cumulative frequency. So we will copy 2 here in the column of the less than cumulative frequency, and then after that, we will add 2 by the frequency of the second class, and that is 10. 2 plus 10 will be equal to 12. And then 12 plus the frequency of the third class, which is 7. So 7 plus 12 will be equal to 19. 19 plus the frequency of the fourth class. So 19 plus 6 will be equal to 25. And then 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. So the value of the less than cumulative frequency of the fifth class must be equal to the total frequency, which is equal to 30. Now, after we have completed the cumulative frequency distribution table, let's try to compute the value of percentile 57. The next step we need to do is to get the percentile class. 
by using this formula, k times n all over 100. We will substitute the value of k, which is equal to 57, the value of n is equal to 30, then over 100 since we are looking for percentile class. So that will be over 100. We will simplify 57 times 30 and then divide the answer by 100. It will be equal to 17.1. Now to get the percentile class, we will look at the less than cumulative frequency table. Now the less than cumulative frequency must be greater than or equal to 17.1. So 2 is less than 17.1. So this is not the percentile class. 12 is less than again. So this is not a percentile class. Then 19 now is greater than 17.1. So therefore, our percentile class is located at the third class. So first class, this one is the first class. This one is the second class. And this one is a third class, so 19 is greater than 17.1. So this will be our percentile class located on the third class. After that, we will be now using the formula of percentile for the group data. We have percentile k is equal to lower boundary plus the quantity k times n all over 100 minus less than cumulative frequency before the percentile class all over the frequency of the percentile class times the class width or the interval. We will be substituting the corresponding value. So this will be percentile 57 is equal to the value of the lower boundary. Since the percentile class is on the third class, we will be looking at the lower boundary of the third class. And that is equal to 30.5 plus the quantity k times n all over 100. We already compute this. So k times n all over 100 is equal to 17.1 minus the less than cumulative frequency before. So our less than cumulative frequency of the percentile class is equal to 19. So what is the number before it? So the number before 19 is equal to 12. So 12 will be the less than cumulative frequency before the percentile class. So substitute 12 here all over the frequency of the percentile class. So this is equal to 7 times the class width, which is equal to 10. And then we will be simplifying this. Just bring down percentile 57 is equal to bring down 30.5 plus 17.1 minus 12 is equal to 5.1 divided by 7 and then multiply it by 10, the answer will be equal to 7.29. And then adding these two numbers, 30.5 plus 7.29 is equal to 37.29. Now, if we will interpret this, 57% of the total frequency has a score of which is less than or equal to 37.29. Let's solve our next example. Let's calculate the value of percentile 13. So we will be identifying the percentile class by using the formula k times n divided by 100, substituting the corresponding value. So we have the value of k is equal to 13, the value of n is equal to 30, divided by 100. 13 times 30 divided by 100 is equal to 3.9. We will look at our less than cumulative frequency column. So 2 is less than 3.9. So this will not be the percentile class. Then 12 is greater than 3.9. So this row is our percentile class. So percentile class is located at our second class. After we have identified the percentile class, we will be now using the formula of percentile for the group data. Percentile k is equal to lower boundary plus the quantity k times n all over 100 minus the less than cumulative frequency before the percentile class all over the frequency of the percentile class times the class width. Substituting the corresponding value, so we have percentile 13 is equal to the value of the lower boundary. So since the percentile class is located at the second class, what is the lower boundary of the second class? That is equal to 20.5 plus the quantity, the value of k times n all over 100 has already been computed. 
which is equal to 3.9, minus the less than cumulative frequency before the percentile class. So the less than cumulative frequency of the percentile class here is equal to 12. So what is the number before 12? So that is equal to 2. We will be substituting 2 here. All over the frequency of the percentile class, this is the frequency of the percentile class located at the second class, which is equal to 10, times the interval is equal to 10. Then we will be simplifying this. Bring down percentile 13 is equal to bring down 20.5, 3.9 minus 2 is equal to 1.9, and then 1.9 divided by 10 times 10 is equal to 1.9, and then adding these numbers, 20.5 plus 1.9 is equal to 22.4. So percentile 13 is equal to 22.4. If we will interpret this, 13% of the total frequency has a score of which is less than or equal to 22.4. Let's have our last example. This time, let's compute for percentile 75. Let's look for the percentile class by using this formula and substituting the corresponding value. Value of k is equal to 75 times the value of n is equal to 30 all over 100. 75 times 30 divided by 100 is equal to 22.5. We will look at our less than cumulative frequency. Which of these numbers is greater than or equal to 22.5? So that is equal to 25. 25 is greater than or equal to 22.5. So the less than cumulative frequency is located on our fourth class. After we have identified the percentile class, we will be now using the formula of percentile for the group data, and then we will be substituting the corresponding value. So we have percentile 75 is equal to the value of the lower boundary. So our percentile class is on the fourth class. So let's look for the lower boundary of the fourth class. So that is equal to 40.5 plus the quantity k times n all over 100. So we have already compute it and the value of it is equal to 22.5 minus the less than cumulative frequency before the percentile class. So the less than cumulative frequency of the percentile class is 25. So what is the number before 25? That is equal to 19. So substitute 19 here, all over the frequency of the percentile class. So the percentile class is on the fourth class. So the frequency is equal to 6 times the interval, which is equal to 10. We will simplify, bring down percentile 75 equals bring down 40.5 plus 22.5 minus 19 is equal to 3.5. 3.5 times 10 is equal to 35. 35 divided by 6 is equal to 5.83. And then adding these two numbers, 40.5 plus 5.83 is equal to 46.33. So percentile 75 is equal to 46.33. And if we will interpret this, 75% of the total frequency has a score of which is less than or equal to 46.33.